What's up guys, Tech Number here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using a resource world. Resource World is a simple plugin that provides a highly configurable, regenerating world that users can collect resources endlessly with. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Resource World. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. The whole goal of the plugin is to allow massive areas to be mined and taken apart in the resource world to allow the main building or playing world to be left without massive marks of people who played previously. After installing, we can run slash resource to check the resource world version, confirming that it's installed. Slash resource help brings up a list of commands that we can use in game. Slash resource menu lets admins run some basic commands. We can check the server status by hovering over the beacon. Teleport every player in the resource world back to spawn, reload the plugin, get support for the plugin, and even reset the resource world, allowing for new resources to be generated. Clicking the support button returns a Discord invite link in chat. Players can use slash resource TP to teleport into the resource dimension spawn. I'll teleport to a known location where we'll come back to in a moment. Slash teleport to 0, 100, 0, and I'll go ahead and destroy some blocks. When in the resource world, we can use slash resource spawn to teleport into the normal world spawn once again. Teleporting back into the resource world and back to our known location, nothing has changed, the blocks that we destroyed are still here. Let's head back to the normal world once again. Opening the resource menu, I'll click reset, then I'll select the resource world as I haven't entered the nether or end. We can also use the command to reset the world. Slash resource reset resets the resource world and we can attach nether or end to the end of that command to reset the resource world's nether or end dimensions. After the world wipes, we can teleport back into it with slash resource TP. Teleporting back to the resource world and traveling back to our known location, you'll see everything has completely reset and even the world has used a different seed. Locate the config in the plugin folder. In the folder, we have three files. Lang.yml contains localization for the plugin, so you can customize basically anything the plugin says back to you in chat. Data.yml contains some information for the resource world to work. You won't need to edit this yourself. Config.yml contains all of the important settings for the plugin, and it's divided into six main sections. Settings for general plugin settings like checking for updates and changing the world that people go back to when they use slash resource spawn. World contains settings for the resource world, and a lot of the settings here also appear in the nether and end resource worlds sections below it. For example, we can enable custom underscore seed and set a seed for the world to always generate the same way with. We can disable PVP or set it to always day. We can disable damage from the world, change the difficulty, disable storms, change the max number of entities, and a lot more. And then we have the more important options. Automated underscore resets allows the world to be reset every few hours, which we can define under interval after enabling it. We can also set up block regeneration, so blocks listed under blocks will regenerate every few minutes as defined under regeneration delay. Commands after reset when enabled will run commands after the world is reset. This is useful for broadcast notifications or something of the sorts. Netherworld and Endworld have all of these options as well, so we can customize how they work similarly. The teleport section sets how often players can teleport into the world, the delay after typing the command, we can even give users an effect after teleporting or make a sound, and even set up blocks that they cannot teleport in or on. Disabled commands are commands that will not work in the resource world, which is nice and simple. Anyways, that's about it. You should now have a resource world ready for players to use. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!